Hello everybody friends, this is Miss Leanne from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be making a 3D winter scene. So let's get into the video. Supplies you need for today's craft. You're going to need some colored paper or you can grab some white paper and markers. But I have colored paper with me today so I have orange, black and brown scraps of paper. I have a blue sheet of paper. That's what we're gonna use for the sky. I got some white sheets of paper we're gonna use for the snow. I have some green pieces of paper for the trees. And then I have a yellow piece of paper for the, um, for the sun. Then what you're gonna wanna grab is some scissors. Last of all, you're gonna need some glue and a pencil if you wanna sketch it out. So let's get started. So first we're going to grab our white piece of paper and we're going to do some fan folds. If you've watched my other craft videos, you'll know what a fan fold is. But if you haven't, a fan fold is just folding the paper in kind of like a zigzag. So you're going to fold it on one side, then flip it over, fold it the same amount on the other side that you did. And if it's not even, that's okay. Then you're going to want to fold it again. Now this one doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to just be the snow on the ground for us. And for this part, if you want to grab regular piece of paper instead of this construction paper, which is pretty tricky to fold, it's kind of stiff. You're going to keep folding it until you can't fold it anymore. So you're just going to go back and forth on the paper doing the same amount of folds, well same width-ish, and then you'll end up with this. And then you're going to want to grab your fan fold and fold it in half as best as you can. If it's not in half, that's okay. There we go. And then you're gonna take the middle two pieces and you're gonna put glue on the middle. Well, in the middle, not on. So I'm gonna grab my glue stick. And then you're gonna want a good amount of glue to keep the whole fold together. Well, not the fold together, to keep the paper together. That's what I mean. And then you're just going to want to glue the two pieces together. Just like that. And then you can hold it together for a couple minutes, well not minutes, a couple of seconds till the glue dries. Now our glue is dry, so you're going to let it set, <laughs> you're going to put it aside to keep letting it dry a little bit longer. And now what you're going to do is grab your piece of paper that's going to be your background. So if you're going to do the night winter sky, you're going to want to maybe grab a black piece of paper. If you want to do a day winter scene, you're going to want to grab something in the daylight color. So I have a light blue, which is the sky color. So then what you're going to want to do, if you want to trace it first so that you know what you're doing, you're going to kind of make an 
do a half circle. You want to do it about the size of your paper. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. And what I should mention is you want the um, half circle to be the same width. So from here to here, same width as your fan fold. So if you want to mark that down, or else you'll just have to cut it, the extra strip off later. So, so I kind of marked my fan fold right here and right here. So that's where I know I'm gonna start cutting. And then the round part doesn't matter. Now we have that cut out. Now we're gonna put that to the side for now. Now what you wanna grab is your green sheet of paper. And we're gonna trace some trees. So for the trees, you're either gonna be putting it onto here or you're gonna be putting it onto here, or you're gonna be kind of gluing the trunk of the tree in between the fan folds. So you don't wanna make it too tall. So I'm just gonna mark on the paper how tall my circle is. I just made a really light mark. Just like that. And now we're gonna do the tree. Now the trick I'm going to do to make the tree symmetric on both sides is I'm gonna fold the tree in half. So I just kind of drew a rough sketch of the tree just to get the layout of it. And now I'm just gonna cut. Now if you watched my snowflake, paper snowflake video, you'll know that we did the exact same thing in that video as well. But that one was a little bit trickier because it had more sheets of paper folded. But this one should be super easy. Then we're gonna do one more cut. and then bring it to bring it to the middle and then once you open it up you have a symmetric tree and now you can either use this tree to trace out your other trees or you can um, repeat this step but I'm just gonna use this tree to trace out my other trees. So I want some trees to be so I want some trees to be a little shorter, so I kind of scoot it down a little. And 
And then I'm going to add in one less layer of tree. Cut it Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more tree. Do I wanna do one more tree? Let's see. No, I think we're good with two trees. All right, so now we're gonna put that to the side. And now I'm gonna grab my orange piece of paper. Now for my orange piece of paper, I'm gonna use this for multiple things. I'm gonna use this to make the house that I'm gonna put in the center of the paper. So we're just, this is gonna be the bottom part of the house. So we're just gonna draw a square. Doesn't need to be perfect. And then we're also gonna be using it for the nose on our snowman that I'm gonna create. I think I cut the house just a tad too big. So we're gonna shrink the house down just a smidge. There we go, that's perfect. Now we're gonna grab our brown and we're gonna place our orange right on top of it. And we're gonna draw a roof for the house. I don't know if you can see my outline. Pretty dark paper. Yeah, you can see a little bit. So I just drew a triangle. You can draw whatever shape roof you want. And then to add an extra piece, I'm gonna draw a chimney. So a chimney is just a rectangle. So like that. Now I'm gonna glue the house together really quick. So I'm gonna place some glue on the top of my house to stick the roof and the house together. So that. And I'm gonna cut that extra pieces. I'm 
Then I'm gonna glue on that chimney. Let's see. And then if you have a pen or a marker, you're gonna wanna draw, grab your pen or marker. I grabbed a pen and we're gonna draw a door for our house and then some windows. like that. Now we're going to put the house to the side where we put our tree and our background and our fan fold. And next you're going to grab your black sheet of paper. Well, I'm grabbing my scrap piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, cut out tiny little circles. So I'm going to cut out maybe three circles and I, you want, I'm going to make them pretty small because they're going to be the little buttons on the snowman. So if you want to cut out a big circle just to get it off the paper and then you can trim it. So I got one, we'll put that on, try to trace it. traced out the two buttons so they're kind of the same size as the other one now if you don't want to trace it out you can just cut out three squares and place the squares on top of each other and cut out the circle and all the circles will be the same There's so many different ways of cutting stuff. It's just whatever fits to you, how you want to do it. Okay, so I have three buttons. Now I want to make, let's see. Mm, no, I think we're good with the three buttons. Now I'm going to use this brown paper to make the snowman's arms. So I'm going to cut out kind of the same width of paper. So that both sides of the arms are the same. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my pencil and trace one arm out. So it's just a stick and then I'm just drawing three branches. Just like that. And I'm just gonna cut it out right on top of the other paper.
So just like that. Now I'm gonna put that to the side. So we got our arms. Now we're gonna grab our yellow piece of paper. I'm just gonna draw, not draw. I'm just gonna cut out a circle for my sun because in the daytime there's a sun in the nighttime there's moons and stars so if you're making a night scene you can cut out some stars and the moon so there's my sun now i'm gonna grab my white sheet of paper so this is the extra sheet of paper what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw not draw <laughs> I'm going to cut out a snowman. Oops. So first, I'm gonna cut the small circle. I kinda did a rough cut because the paper was getting in my way. There we go. And now I'm gonna place it on top of a next Remove this free space and cut out a circle that's a little bit bigger than that. Okay, and then you're gonna trim it up. But remember, if you're trimming it up, make sure you don't make it smaller than the first piece. Then you're gonna grab your second piece and place it on top of another spot. And just do the same thing. It's always better to cut a little bigger A little bit more around the edge so you can trim it up. So as you can see, I cut it a little bit way too big around the edge. So I'm just gonna trim it with that medium circle on top of it. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. All right. So there we are, we got our three snow. We have our three snow balls. Now what we're gonna do is glue them together. So we got our first snowball on. Place your second snowball. You can glue it on however you would like. And then we're gonna grab our little buttons. Place those on. So have you made a snowman yet? Because there's a lot of snow outside. Then I'm just gonna scoot this button up. Oh no, I think it might be stuck. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit. Oh, I need more glue. Just like that. And then I'm going to move the body just a smidge over. So that it's somewhat centered. Then I'm gonna grab my arms and I'm gonna actually stick them behind Mr. Snowman because they're a little bit long. Grab my other arm, stick that behind Mr. Snowman. 
And then we're going to grab our pen. And we're going to draw some eyes. And then some pebbles for the mouth. And then we're going to grab our orange piece of paper. I'm just going to cut out a small triangle. For Mr. Snowman's nose. Because Mr. Snowman's got to have a nose, right? He needs to be able to smell. Grab some glue and just stick the nose right on, just like that. All right, so now we're going to be putting our snow scene together. So grab all your pieces. So first, what we're going to do is kind of lay out everything. So you don't need to lay out the fan fold yet, but you do want to lay out the house and the snowman if you want it on. So I'm going to put the house over here and Mr. Snowman over here. So we're going to glue the house down. And then Mr. Snowman, we're going to glue down. And then I'm just going to glue the sun down so I don't have to worry about that later. So there's the sun up there. And now this part is going to be the tricky part. You're going to decide whether you want to glue the fan on first or if you want to glue the trees on the fan first. I think gluing the fan on first will be easier and then gluing the trees on. Okay, doke. But first. Let's see, which side? I think I want this side down. Okay. So, you're gonna wanna put glue on the fan. And then plop it down however you want. And now your scene will stand. Isn't that pretty cool? Okie doke. Now you're gonna glue the trees on. So you're just gonna put some glue on the trunk of the tree and kind of stick it to where you want that tree. Do the same thing with the other tree. Just like that. So now our snow scene looks like that. If you are looking at it from my angle. Now what you can do is if you have a hole punch, 
You can hole punch this white piece of paper and glue those tiny little dots from the hole punch onto your snow scene to make snow falling. But I'm gonna keep it like this because I like it like this. Now if you want, you could add some snow to the trees, to the house, by just cutting out some white pieces of paper on top. But besides that, that's it. That's how you make a 3D winter scene. They'll stand up by itself. Isn't that cool? Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more fun crafts and story times. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.